Have you ever wanted to live in a high-rise condo in downtown Orlando? Or maybe a little closer to earth in a townhome or a cute little bungalow in the downtown area? Well, that's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. Hi there, what is up? I'm Kathy Williams with HomeVest Realty here in Orlando, Florida. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. And um, if you're interested in the Orlando lifestyle and all things real estate, then you might wanna subscribe to my channel and click that bell. And that way you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. So today we are talking about downtown Orlando living. It's kind of fun. I love downtown Orlando living. And let's just start in Lake Eola. I love walking around downtown Orlando. Lake Eola is my go-to place. It's the centerpiece of downtown Orlando. People call it O-Town for short. There are parks and playgrounds, lots of swans, and really cool art all around the lake. On Sundays, there's a farmer's market. Right now it's closed because of the COVID-19 virus, but it'll be back open hopefully soon. And it's great. There's lots of cool artists and food there and plants, just, you know, everything at a farmer's market. And it's right at Lake Eola. There's lots of fun events all year round at Lake Eola. And one of my favorite one is the Food Fest. Um, they have live music and great food. Lake Yola is just a great place to walk and jog and you know I liked I liked people watch too. It's a great place to do that. You can ride these little boats that they have, these little swan boats too. That's kind of fun thing to do. All around Lake Yola there are condos dotted all around. Here's a map of the area so you can just kind of see the little red teardrop shapes are where the condos are located. The Waverly here, this is a great condo. Just to give you an example, a two bedroom, two bath condo in the Waverly is gonna be between 289,000 and 315,000. As you cruise around Lake Eola, one of my favorite condos is the Sanctuary. It is gorgeous and along a fabulous brick lined street with one of my favorite restaurants, the Stubborn Mule. And across the street is the Menagerie. It's also really yummy too. Um, the Sanctuary, for example, at the Sanctuary you can get a two bedroom, two and a half bath condo that's about 2,000 square feet for 650,000. Around the corner from the Sanctuary is Star Tower. And I love this exterior water feature at Star Tower. The condos here are starting around 469,000 for a two bedroom, two bath with 1,765 square feet. And it can go up to 625,000 for a two bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,000 square foot condo. The views are great here with floor to ceiling windows and you just look out and see all over downtown Orlando. It's spectacular. But it's what makes it a really great place to live, along with just the neighborhood area that it's located in. The Solaire is smack dab in the middle of all the Orlando action. I mean, there is everything right there. The restaurants, the shopping, the entertainment. So the Solaire has smaller units and they're about 1,300 square feet for about 345,000. That's a two bedroom, two bath condo. The Solaire is super close to the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center. And that's one of my favorite places to go to see Broadway musicals and live entertainment as well. So if you go to a show there, be sure and go to the Grand Bohemian. Ugh, this is one of my favorite places downtown, I'm not gonna lie to you. I love to go here for dinner or drinks before the theater. It's literally across the street from the Dr. Phillips Theater. This place is amazing. I love walking around this hotel and just looking at the art display. It's a great place to stay if you have guests coming into town or if you wanna do a staycation. 
Also around the corner from that is Church Street Station, and there's some really neat restaurants and bars around there. It used to be a lot more active a few years ago. It used to be filled with restaurants and shops. Now there's just a couple of restaurants and shops around there, but it's a neat area to walk around. And when there's events going on, like soccer games, which the soccer stadium is around the corner from there, and so is the Amway Center, then the place is packed with people and it's just a lot of fun. Also, if you're looking for an apartment, 55 West is right here in Church Street Station. So that's a great opportunity for apartment dwellers as well. Now, many would argue that the View condominium is the number one condominium in downtown Orlando because of its breathtaking views of Lake Eola. I mean, the fireworks show from this view would be spectacular. A two bedroom, two bath starts in the mid 300s to 500s and a penthouse goes for 1.5 million to 2.9 million. Is shopping for those who live in downtown? Restaurants are in abundance, of course, and there's also groceries like Publix, pharmacies like CVS, and of course, lots of nightlife. Sack Comedy Club is my favorite downtown club. There are also a few speakeasy clubs like Hanson Shoe Repair. There are churches, of course, and lots of businesses downtown. If you want to see a magic game, you can walk to the Amway Center for sports or big name concerts. There are a lot of great neighborhoods downtown, and even they're just steps from Lake Eola, so that's how close they are to being downtown. They're considered downtown, same zip code and everything. One of them is Lake Eola Heights. It's a lot of historic homes and bungalows, and the other one is Thornton Park. Thornton Park also has its own really cute little shopping district with restaurants and bars and just some cute little places. The cute Brick Line Street, I, you know how I love my Brick Line Streets. And um, there's just some cute places to walk around, literally steps from Lake Eola, steps from all those high rises. And there's cute little homes and bungalows that you can live in in that area as well if you don't wanna be as high up the ground. Also around the corner are some beautiful townhomes that can be found in, in downtown Orlando. So there's a lot of options for dwelling in the central area of Orlando. And there's a lot of employers downtown, so there's a great reason to want to live downtown and not have the commute into the downtown area. Would living in downtown Orlando be something you're interested in? It's a fun area, lots of employers downtown. There's a lot of great reasons to live in downtown Orlando in a beautiful high rise. If that's something that you're interested in, please don't hesitate to reach out to me by phone, text, email, carrier pigeon, any way that you'd like to reach out to me. I'd love to help you find your perfect condo in downtown Orlando. Thanks for joining me today. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye-bye now.